Hi, this is Barry C. Paul coming to you, you again with another video and about the prismatic energy chamber that I was telling you about. Now, the piece you're looking at now is the very middle, I mean very middle half of the thing. It's, as you can see, it's very um, interesting. You see the cone-shaped piece in the, in, on the bottom there, underneath the large protuberance? That's the part of it that con that will attach to the other part. Not directly, but it will be a piece of plastic in there, like a tubing that will hold the two units together. I wish I could make the two join and have a, a, a large piece of plastic between them that forms them into a more compact unit, but I haven't got the money to have, have that fabricated. If I create a way to do that, I will have them fabricate me one of those because it would be much more easier to put those units together and have a piece of plastic in the middle where everything is held to play in place by a couple of screws and that way I can hold it in the center and never have to worry about anything breaking or laying it down and something else happening. Right now we, we can do what we can do and that's all we can do. But if I can figure a way to get that piece fabricated then I will. Okay, but until then, we'll work with the, we'll work with what we got. All right, but anyway, this unit here is the part that focuses all that energy I was telling you about. Okay, it focuses into a, the very, very top of it. Now this part here is made to focus it into a central chamber, which is the top piece, which you'll get a video of after this one is over with. But suffice to say, there's a focusing crystal on top of this thing that does the focusing. All right. Now, I'm going to have a very powerful piece of equipment here, and I need to power it, so I'm going to use batteries and solar panels to give it the power. But if I ever get enough money, I'm going to still use batteries and solar panels, but I'm going to make it in such a way that it all is into, it's all in one case. I like those satellites to have the solar panels hooked to a very unit here that is operating. And I'll have the batteries somewhere designed because it'll be big enough and, and areas where I can put everything so everything will be attached to it. But once I do that, it'll have to be fixed where I can dis disconnect those things when I don't want them on there. You know, some kind of little swivel bases that can hold them. But when you're through with it, you can just slide it out and, and you don't have to have them there. You can disconnect the power source and you can dismantle it when you want to ship it. Because if it was built that way, you couldn't ship it as one piece like that. It's too big and cumbersome to lay it in the box and ship it. So you'll be able to have to be able to dismantle the thing. But the, this is only a prototype, so I can't do too much to dismantle it on because I got it held together with putty, plumber putty, and epoxy resin. That's the only thing to hold these pieces together is, is plumber's putty and epoxy resin, which is pretty strong, but it's not made for dismantling that because like, you get, you don't want to be knocking all the putty epoxy putty off and breaking this thing to get apart to get it apart once it's put together it's put together and i gotta make sure everything is reinforced so that nothing comes loose during its usage now when you want some of the pieces inside to fall loose and have them in there broken so i gotta make sure everything is reinforced before i put it together permanently and then hook it up to this power source so till then i ain't really putting the main chambers together and and you know, making them permanent. They'll be able to be taken apart whenever I need to do work on something. Because this piece here, even though it's been all puttied and put together, it's not attached to this chamber until it's finally puttied and put in there. Just, or neither is, is the top half. I won't connect it permanently because I've got a lot of work to do on every piece of the thing. This thing is only something like 40% um, finish. There's a lot to go with this stuff that's going to power it, give it the extra mm pa pa so it, it'll be the most powerful piece of equipment or its side that has ever been seen. Now on top of that, I will give this piece of information. There are 11 motors on top, 11 motors on another section. The very, I mean this, this is the middle, there's 11 motors on this middle piece. And then on the, on the very pinnacle at the top, there's another 11 motors. And on each motor, there'll be something that's gonna give it the necessary force I need. Okay, but I won't go into all that. But anyway, the motors will be turning by a central power source. Cause I got the motors hooked up in tandem so that when you get to the last two, there's a piece of a couple of wires coming down from those two, so you have a circuit. The all the motors are circuited in together as one, and then the last two motors, which has the little connectors, the, there's a wire coming from, so that you hook it to the power source. And when you connect to the power source, 
it goes through all the motors and make all the motors turn. Okay, so you can get a general idea of what that means. They're, they're the equivalent of little dynamos on top of them. And I will tell you this: that this thing will be powerful enough to cause kind of a adverse effect with electronic stuff. So if you were operating this thing, you wouldn't want to bring your cell phone anywhere near it or get it too close to your television, your computer, or anything like that. Because it might really cause a very disruptive nature to those things. But human-wise, uh, your brain and all that, I don't think it'll hurt that. Because a few you don't even, I think, think have, certain, don't even use your brain. So in your case, so how can you hurt something that you don't use? <laughs> Just a joke. But anyway, okay, now I wouldn't want to get near somebody with a pacemaker with this thing either. Things like that, so you have to be careful if you own one of these how you use it and where you're at with it. So right now, this video is pretty much over with, so I'm going to get to the next section, which is the very pinnacle of it, the top. So this is Barry C. Paul saying peace, harmony, and I'll talk to you later.